All right, so I'm here to talk to you today about one of the best kept secrets in the turkey hunting industry, and that's the Stratton 360 turkey base uh, for turkey decoys. Um, basically what it is, is it's a base for your turkey decoys that's controlled by a remote control, uh, and it can spin your strutter in a 360 degree fashion, and it's the only, the only product on the market that can, that can do that. Um, so we're going to talk to you a little bit about the pieces, parts that go with it today, and uh, just talk to you a little bit about the range of the remote and some other things. Um, it comes with a few little small pieces, some washers, some corks, and those type of things. And the main purpose there is that this is that this will support pretty much any decoy out there. And I'll show you some of the decoys that we use and how we apply those pieces. Um, really, some of the other little parts, and you can see that I've used this over the past year. Um, to make sure that I believed in it as well. Uh, there are four stakes uh, that just go in the, the corner of the, the base as you would set it up. And then those drive down into the ground and help secure that decoy uh, and the base into the ground. Personally, when it's nice out and not windy, I use one in each corner. It allows for a little easier setup um, and a little easier to pick up and move around when you go to do that. So uh, just some pieces there. And then the other main piece is just a, a two-piece uh, st stand. You can see that it's notched out a little bit so that as you put the pieces together uh, and the product spins, it will um, carry the whole decoy with it. It uh, mounts right in the center here, and you find the slot there, and then it's secured. And then when you go to spin uh, the product from the remote, it'll move the decoy with it, which you'll see here in a little bit. Um, Pretty simple to turn on. You take the remote and the little nipple here on the remote. You put it in the little start button here. Some magnetic magic allows you to turn that on. You'll see a red light. Uh, that red light tells you that it's ready to go. You hit a button in one of the directions. It'll flash green, and then you're ready to rock and roll. You can hit the button, and you can hear the, the gear turning just slightly uh, so that you know that it's on. You turn it off the same way. Um, we've tested this product uh, over the course of this year. The sound doesn't bother the turkeys at all, obviously. I've taken in the deer woods a few times and mounted a GoPro to it. They don't seem to be too bothered by the noise or, or the turning either. But when we were introduced to this product, we, we thought, how many times have we been stuck behind the decoys and had birds come in and just freeze up just out of range and begging for the wind to blow and get some motion in that decoy set and when we were introduced to this product and started to use it over the course of this year, every time we thought that, all we did was pull out the remote, hit the button, the decoy would spin, and those birds would break loose a little bit. And had a couple successful hunts uh, this year just because of that uh, purpose. Um, what I want to show you here next is um, just some of the decoys that we use. Obviously, it's a Strutton 360 for a reason. You want to get your strutter on there. And so we've got uh, just a strutter here that we have, I think it's from Primos, honestly couldn't even remember, um, and we, I've already attached the, the mounting stick from another one that we have um, on here. Make sure it's secure nice and tight on here so that when the wind does blow it doesn't spin when you don't want it to, um, but you can see how easy it is just to carry that around. I just literally walk around with it like this and carry the this, this in my other hand. Um, with these things in my turkey vest and, and this around my neck on a lanyard. So it's really no more added than what you're doing already with just a stick and, and play decoy. Um, and then I've also quite a few times um, when I was experimenting with it, took the Avion uh, feeder hen out there and took this cork piece um, and put it at the end of, of one of the stakes there and it pops right up in, in the Avion setup. And honestly, uh, in a couple night hunts this year, I was able to calm a uh, tom down uh, just by the feeder hen spinning around in a circle. So that was pretty neat to, to use as well. Um, one of Richard's favorites um, uh, that he talks about all the time is, is Dave Decoy's strutter. So uh, honestly, it works with pretty much everything that we've tried. Um, you, can, you can get it set up like that. So I'll show you real quick just how it, how it works in action. I'll turn it back on. I'll get this mounted in there. And then we'll just hit the spin. And then there it goes. And so you'll spin this. Um, there are two, two buttons on the remote, super simple. One turns it one way, one turns it the other. 
Um, each button will take it in a 360 degree uh, motion in that direction. Um, we found that working it back and forth obviously works uh, pretty well depending on where, which way that bird's coming in and who's in charge and uh, the dominant bird and those type of things. So um, you'll see in other videos where we review how some of that works. So we want to give you a quick distance test on the remote. As you can see it's on and spinning. I'm going to run this way about 65 yards. So we've used this product all year here in Ohio. Um, it's, it's been a part of every single one of our hunts uh, over this year and helped us get over six birds on the ground between the group. Well, I hope you want to check this product out, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel below, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.